Hey everyone, it's me, QP83. And Barbie0913. And we are here with a bit of a haul video, a loot video. Tiny, yeah. A little bit of it. So we all, while we don't have any toy shows, we were able to attend virtually mm -hmm. the National Barbie Convention for 2021. Which was really cool because it was discounted so that people could do it virtually because you weren't having any of the lunches and the dinners. Exactly. There were two price tiers. There was like the ba their more expensive tier, which still wasn't that expensive compared to an actual mm -hmm. convention. Um, where you got all the souvenirs and such. We did not sign up for that one because yeah, we were too late. We missed that. We didn't know that was happening. We did do the second tier, which was like 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. And you got access to all the panels, which were virtual. Mm -hmm. uh, you got, got access to the dealer's room. Yes. Which was the best part yeah. of the whole package. Yeah. Um, and you could interact in, in the Facebook group. Mm -hmm. So that is what we did. We did. Uh, and basically, we, we watched some panels. The panels were good. I watched, I think I just missed two panels, and they're still there, so I can watch them. Yeah, and you know, some of them were, were pretty good. Um, but we did definitely partake Shop. in the vendor hall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the exhibit hall, the vendor hall, the, mm -hmm. you know, shopping area. Mm -hmm. We shopped. We shopped. It was a little <laughs> confusing to do it because... Depending on if you were on your computer or on your phone, yet it was just confusing to get to it. Yeah, it was its own little Facebook group, and depending on if you were on a tablet or a phone or a computer, the interface was, it all just looks kind of different. Right, and you couldn't favor anything. If you wanted to right. favor it and then go back and look at other things and then go, what was that thing that I really liked? <laughs> Yeah. You couldn't do that. Like that you, kind of threw me. You could like stuff, but like still, Facebook can be hard to navigate sometimes. Yeah. But we did end up mm -hmm. buying uh, some fun items, so we wanted to show them to you. All right. You want to start? Sure. You've got more. Is there any order you want to do this? Nah. Okay. There we go. All right. So, um... I don't remember any of the names of the sellers, so <laughs> I can't tell you how to get these things. So we picked up, I picked up some towels here. Uh, super, super cute. Just little towels with Barbie's face on there. And then we have the pink one. Just, you know, cute little towels. Mm -hmm. I figured I could toss them in a diaper bag because they were tiny enough to do so. They're cute. And they were unique, so I'd always know they were mine, so I figured they would be cool in the diaper bag. And then they could be used for whatever other reasons we need them for. They could be. But yeah, we have this uh, like super elegant fabric here. Oh, and we have more pretty. vintage Barbie and That one's cute, too. So yeah, that was uh, something I picked up. And from the same vendor, I know it's the same vendor, because it's the same pattern. I love buying purses at the show. I mean, if you're going to go to the National Barbie Convention, you, you want to pick things up that you don't see everywhere. Right. Like bracelets, jewelry, purses, uh, things that people make that are really cool. So I picked this, and it's nice because it's got a front pocket. I can put my phone in there. Actually, right now it has my glasses. I've been using it for a couple days, and it's zippered here. And it's just the right size because I've got this humongous long wallet that yeah. never fits anywhere and a big giant phone that never fits anywhere. So <laughs> I thought it was cute with the polka dots. Yeah. I think it's cute too. It is. So it's more like buying purses for me. Yeah, I think my mom has a good point. Like it's cool to buy the unique stuff at yeah. these shows. Like yeah. you can buy Barbies anywhere. Like you can buy them all year long, but it's mm -hmm. at shows like this where you can get the unique The things. cool stuff, yeah. And... Another one that I picked up was another purse. It is the little theater. It is. And when you open it up, you've got the inside of the theater. And it does have a little pocket inside. See, I've taken advantage of these already. Oh, They're yeah. They're already getting some use. And then it's the sides. And then the back. The back. It's so cute. Yes, again, super unique. And you could buy them in tote size also. I like this one better. Yeah, the messenger bag style is really yeah. fun. Okay. And... So I did buy some Barbies and, uh, you know, Mattel manufactured stuff as well. This is a bendable leg skipper. I honestly... 
If I have a bendable leg skipper, I might have one, yeah, I don't but think I don't do. think I have Mm-mm. one. <laughs> it's so easy to find straight legs. Yeah, I always have straight legs, so I have to stop buying straight leg skippers, and mm-hmm. I need to look for bendable leg skippers, mm-hmm. because, again, they are super cute, uh, and I don't have many of them, so this is my, my first bendable leg skipper and not, with the pretty red hair. She is pretty. She has super cute coppery hair, uh, her legs bend and everything, and the price was really good. That's the way it is. And I picked up from a vendor, this was from the 2016 convention, where they gave out the Andy Warhol type Ooh. Barbie little coffee table. It's so cute. It really is It's cute. adorable. Yeah, the pop art is really fun. I love that, yeah. And it was all brand new in its box still with the covering over it. All I had to do was take it off and then I have to keep it shiny, but it's adorable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really fun. Okay, and there you go. I also picked up two different skipper outfits. Uh, here they are. It's Lala Palooza's and Eeny Meeny Midi, uh, both of which I don't really see at shows Mm-mm. very often. Uh, and, you know, I don't have a ton of the Barbie clothing. So this was pretty good, and you know this, and they're fairly complete. This is just missing like the present, uh, and, and there's some paper loss paper on the loss. mirror, but the outfit's complete, and this one is complete. So it actually is like three different outfits, which is like nice. That. That's such a good good deal on yeah. that one. Yeah. So I am excited to put these on a skipper. And now she could do it. She needs to actually get outfits to put on them. I do. You do. And then. Um, there was a growing Francie, but what I needed was a body for Francie. So it was a really good price, and this is a, a head that Cupie went and rerouted for me because she was a sad little Francie, and actually she was a growing Francie, this one, uh, but she needed a body, so I kind of decapitated mm-hmm. her, and now her body is going to need, her head's going to need a new body once we <laughs> reroute that one. It's a never-ending cycle. But I love Francie, so it's okay. And, and this is, uh, if you have watched some of my videos before, you know that I have a few like exclusive airline Barbies, like the Japanese airline one and the Korean that's for mm-hmm. um, the the Chinese airline, uh, and I have a couple other ones. So I have a few airline Barbies in my collection. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of become like a sub collection. A thing, it's become a <laughs> thing, a collecting thing. Um, so I had this Barbie already and I saw the outfit. There were actually quite a few people selling this outfit mm-hmm. at the show. This one was in great shape and it was basically mint. Uh, it had all the pieces, shoes, the purse, the hat, all the things. So I picked this up so she could be part of the uh, the airline collection. So this is American Airlines. It's an actual Barbie fashion yeah. uh, from sometime, sometime mm-hmm. in the 60s. So super, super cute. It's cute. She's got a real outfit on and a real old doll. I yeah. love it. So yeah, I was excited about that and the price was good. And this is true. And then behind you, we ended up getting two bags. Yes. Isn't this great? These are really fun bags. They don't have a pocket on the inside, so you need one of those little separators that you can organize all your stuff so it doesn't fall to the bottom. But it's really cool because it's all the little booklets. Yeah, so there's Ken on this one. Mm -hmm. And and Barbie on this one. Barbie on this, and it's just a fun little tote, you know, a good travel bag, Mm -hmm. Uh, and you can always, like, toss an organizer in there if you really wanted to. But yeah, good little weekender bag. It is cute. It's a going to the hospital bag. Yeah, totally could be a going to the hospital Uh bag. So it's cute, and it came very quickly. Yeah. Everything came really quickly. So really, really fun item. I like, see, that she's got all the Kens on there. It's really cute. And that has all the Barbies. I know. It's just all my little booklets. I love it. So, that's what we got. That is what we picked up at the National Barbie Convention virtually this year. 
Uh, next year, it will be in Chicago. So, if you're in the Midwest, you should keep an eye out on the convention website. Mm -hmm. Just to see when you can sign up because you, you get a chance to do it ahead of everybody if you've gone to a convention the year before. I haven't been to a convention since the last time it was in Chicago and I had a lot of fun. But um, we're going to be like at that tail end of it again. Yes, yeah, so once we sign up, you guys can <laughs> yeah <laughs> save some space for us <laughs> so then we can all party and celebrate barbie together party. in chicago um but hopefully hopefully it all works out and pans out and knock on wood we all get in hopefully um and the world doesn't fall apart in between there you go <laughs> so uh definitely we just wanted to show these off to you guys uh because it was really fun that we were able to participate in it and we found out way too late to even talk about it uh, so sorry right. if you're like, why didn't you tell us? And if we had known that there was the first budgeteer, we would have gone and signed up just yeah. so we could get a set of dolls. Yeah, you know, we would have would broken that in half. Yeah. And it wouldn't have been too bad, but right. to you lucky people that knew about it. <laughs> Kudos to you. Yes. So let us know if you attended the virtual National Barbie Convention, uh, or if you found any cool Barbie items mm -hmm. and what you think of these. Yeah, what was your favorite part? What did you buy? Yeah, so let us know in the comments, and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.